a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Tokyo Subway Sarun Attack The Tokyo Subway Sarun Attack was an act of domestic terrorism perpetrated on March 20, 1995, in Tokyo, Japan, by members of the cult movement Tom Shinrikyo. In five coordinated attacks, the perpetrators released Sarun on three lines of the present-day Tokyo Metro during rush hour, killing 12 people severely injuring 50, and causing temporary vision problems for nearly 5,000 others. The attack was directed against trains passing through Keisumagasiki and Nagatacho, home to the Japanese government, until the Myojo 56 building fire on September 1, 2001. It was the deadliest incident to occur in Japan since the end of World War II. Background Om Shinrikyo is the former name of a controversial group now known as Aleph. In 1992, Shoko Asahara, the founder of Om Shinrikyo, published a book in which he declared himself Christ, Japan's only fully enlightened master, and identified with the Lamb of God. He outlined a doomsday prophecy, which included a third world war, and described a final conflict culminating in a nuclear Armageddon, borrowing the term from the Book of Revelation. His purported mission was to take upon himself the sins of the world. And he claimed he could transfer to his followers spiritual power and take away their sins. He also saw dark conspiracies everywhere promulgated by Jews, Freemasons, the Dutch, the British royal family, and rival Japanese religions. Initially, the Japanese police reported the attack as the cult's way of hastening an apocalypse. The prosecution said that it was an attempt to bring down the government and install Asahara as the Emperor of Japan. Asahara's defense team claimed that certain senior members of the group independently planned the attack, but their motives for this were unexplained. Om Shinrikyo began their attacks on 27 June 1994 in Matsumoto, Japan. With the help of a converted refrigerator truck, members of the cult released a cloud of sarin which floated near the homes of judges who were overseeing a lawsuit concerning a real estate dispute which was predicted to go against the cult from this one event 500 people were injured and eight people died main perpetrators naoko kikuchi who was involved in producing the sarin gas was arrested after a tip-off in june 2012 and katsuya takahashi soon thereafter Ten men were responsible for carrying out the attacks, five released the sarin, while the other five served as getaway drivers. The teams were Aikuo Hayashi Prior to joining OM, Hayashi was a senior medical doctor with an active front-line track record at the Ministry of Science and Technology. The son of a doctor, Hayashi graduated from Keio University. He was a heart and artery specialist at Keio Hospital, which he left to become head of circulatory medicine at the Na National Sanatorium Hospital in Tokai, Ibaraki. In 1990, he resigned his job and left his family to join Nom in the monastic order Sangha, where he became one of Asahara's favorites and was appointed the group's minister of healing as which he was responsible for administering a variety of treatments to all members, including sodium pentothel and electric shocks to those whose loyalty was suspect. These treatments resulted in several deaths. Thanks to his actions in reporting, to the Japanese police investigators about the sarin attacks and OM activities post-Tokyo subway attack, Aikuo Hayashi was exempted from the death penalty and was instead given life imprisonment. Tomo Mitsunimi, who was his getaway driver, was sentenced to death by hanging due to his involvement in other crimes perpetrated by OM members. Kenichi Hirose? Hirose was 30 years old at the time of the attacks. Holder of a postgraduate degree in physics from Waseda University, Hirose became an important member of the group's chemical brigade in their Ministry of Science and Technology. He was also involved in the group's automatic light weapon development scheme. 
Hirose teamed up with getaway driver Koichi Kitamura. After releasing the sarin, Hirose himself showed symptoms of sarin poisoning. He was able to inject himself with the antidote and was rushed to the OM-affiliated Shinrikyo Hospital in Nakano for treatment. Medical personnel at the given hospital had not been given prior notice of the attack and were consequently clueless regarding what treatment Hirose needed. When Kitamura realized that he had driven Hirose to the hospital in vain, he instead drove to AUM's headquarters in Shibuya, where Aikuo Hayashi gave Hirose first aid. Hirose was later sentenced to death by hanging for his role in the attack. Hirose's appeal of his death sentence was rejected by the Tokyo High Court on July 28, 2003. The sentence was upheld by the Supreme Court of Japan on November 6, 2009. Kitamura, Hirose's getaway driver, was sentenced to life imprisonment. Tori Toyoda Toyoda was 27 at the time of the attack. He studied applied physics at University of Tokyo's science department and graduated with honors. He also holds a master's degree, and was about to begin doctoral studies when he joined DOM, where he belonged to the chemical brigade in their Ministry of Science and Technology. Toyoda was sentenced to death. The appeal of his death sentence was rejected by the Tokyo High Court on July 28, 2003, and was upheld by the Supreme Court on November 6, 2009. Katsuya Takahashi was Doru Toyoda's getaway driver. Takahashi was arrested in June 2012. In 2015, Takahashi was convicted for his role in the attack and was sentenced to life in prison. His appeal was rejected by the Tokyo High Court in September 2016. Mosato Yokoyama Yokoyama was 31 at the time of the attack. He was a graduate in applied physics from Tokai University's engineering department. He worked for an electronics firm for three years after graduation before leaving to join on, where he became undersecretary at the group's Ministry of Science and Technology. He was also involved in their automatic light weapons manufacturing scheme. Juko Yama was sentenced to death in 1999. Kiyotaka Tanazaki, a high school graduate who joined the group in 1987, was a member of the group's Ministry of Construction, and served as Yokoyama's getaway driver. Tanazaki was sentenced to life imprisonment. Yasuo Hayashi Yasuo Hayashi was 37 years old at the time of the attacks, and was the oldest person at the group's Ministry of Science and Technology. He studied artificial intelligence at Kogakuin University. After graduation he traveled to India where he studied yoga. He then became an OM member, taking vows in 1988 and rising to the number three position in the group's Ministry of Science and Technology. Asahara had at one time suspected Hayashi of being a spy. The extra packet of sarin he carried was part of ritual character test, set up by Asahara to prove his allegiance, according to the prosecution. Hayashi went on the run after the attacks. He was arrested 21 months later, 1,000 miles from Tokyo on Ishigaki Island. He was later sentenced to death and has appealed. Hayashi's getaway driver was Shigeo Sugimoto. His lawyers argued that he played only a minor role in the attack, but the argument was rejected, and he was sentenced to life in prison. Attack On Monday, March 20, 1995, five members of Om Shinriki Sarin. Om originally planned to spread the sarin as an aerosol, but did not follow through with it. A single drop of sarin the size of a pinhead can kill an adult. Carrying their packets of sarin and umbrellas with sharpened tips, the perpetrators boarded their appointed trains. At pre-arranged stations, the sarin packets were dropped and punctured several times with the sharpened tip of the umbrella. Each perpetrator then got off the train and exited the station to meet his accomplice with a car. Leaving the punctured packets on the floor allowed the sarin to leak out into the train car and stations. This sarin affected passengers, subway workers, and those who came into contact with them. Sarin is the most volatile of the nerve agents, 
which means that it can quickly and easily evaporate from a liquid into a vapor and spread into the environment. People can be exposed to the vapor even if they do not come in contact with the liquid form of sarin. Because it evaporates so quickly, sarin presents an immediate, but short-lived threat. Chiyoda Line The team of Aikuo Hayashi and Tomo Mitsunimi were assigned to drop and puncture two sarin packets on the Chiyoda Line. Hayashi was the perpetrator, and Nimi was his getaway driver. On the way to Senki Station, Nimi purchased newspapers to wrap the sarin packets in. The Japan Communist Party Akahata and the Soka Gakai's Seikyo Shimbun. Hayashi eventually chose to use Akahata, wearing a surgical mask commonly worn by the Japanese during cold and flu season. Hayashi boarded the first car of southwest bound 748 Chiyoda Line train number A725K. As the train approached Shino Kanamizu Station, the central business district in Chiyoda, he punctured one of his two bags of sarin, leaving the other untouched, and exited the train at Shino Kanamizu. The train proceeded down the line with the punctured bag of sarin leaking until four stops later at Keisumagasiki Station. There, the bags were removed and eventually disposed of by station attendants, of whom two died. The train continued on to the next station, where it was completely stopped, evacuated and cleaned. Ogi Kubo bound Two men, Kenichi Hirose and Koichi Kitamura, were assigned to release two sarin packets on the westbound Ma Nauchi line destined for Ogi Kubo station. The pair left OM headquarters in Shibuya at 6 a.m. and drove to Yotsuya Station. There Hirose boarded a westbound Ma Nauchi Line train, then changed to a northbound Junior East Sekio Line train at Shinjuku Station and got off at Ikibukuro Station. He then bought a sports tabloid to wrap the sarin packets in and boarded the second car of Ma Nauchi Line train A 777. As he was about to release the sarin, Hirose believed the loud noises caused by the newspaper wrapped packets had caught the attention of a schoolgirl. To avoid further suspicion, he got off the train at either Myogadani or Karakan Station and moved to the third car instead of the second. As the train approached Tokanamizu Station, Hirose dropped the newspapers to the floor, repeated an om mantra and punctured both sarin packets with so much force that he bent the tip of his sharpened umbrella. Both packets were successfully broken, and all 900 milliliters of sarin was released onto the floor of the train. Hirose then departed the train at Okanamizu and left via Kitamura's car waiting outside the station. Hirose's clumsy release of the sarin resulted in him accidentally poisoning himself, but he was able to administer an antidote stored in Kitamura's car. At Nakano Sakao Station, 14 stops later, two severely injured passengers were carried out of the train car, while station attendant Sumio Nishimura removed the sarin packets. The train continued with sarin still on the floor of the third car. Five stops later, at 8.38 am, the train reached Ogikubo Station. The end of the Ma Nauchi line, all while passengers were boarding the train, the train continued eastbound until it was finally taken out of service at Shinkanji Station two stops later. The entire ordeal resulted in one passenger's death with 358 being seriously injured. Ikib Okoro bound Mosato Yokoyama and his driver Kiyotaka Tonazaki were assigned to release sarin on the Ikib Okoro bound Ma Nauchi line. On the way to Shinjuku Station, Tonazaki stopped to allow Yokoyama to buy a copy of Nian Kize Shimbun to wrap the two sarin packets. When they arrived at the station, Yokoyama put on a wig and fake glasses and boarded the fifth car of the Akib Okoro bound 739 Ma Nauchi Line train number B801. As the train approached Jotsuya Station, Yokoyama began poking at the sarin packets. When the train reached the next station, he fled the scene with Tonazaki, leaving the sarin packets on the train car. The packets were not fully punctured. During his drop, Juko Yama left one packet fully intact, while the other packet was only punctured once, resulting in the sarin being released relatively slowly. The train reached the end of the line, Ikib Okuro, at 8.30 am where it would head back in the opposite direction. Before it departed the train was evacuated and searched but the searchers failed to discover the sarin packets. 
The train departed Ikibukuro Station at 8.32 am as the Shinjuku-bound A801. Passengers soon became ill, and alerted station attendants of the Saran-soaked newspapers at Karakun Station. One station later, at Ongo Sangpom, staff removed the Saran packets and mopped the floor, but the train continued on to Shinjuku. After arriving at 9.09 am, the train once again began to make its way back to Ikibukuro as the B901. The train was finally put out of service at Kakai Jiji Dome Station in Chiyoda at 9.27 am, one hour and 40 minutes after Yokoyama punctured the sarin packet. The attack resulted in no fatalities, but over 200 people were left in serious condition. Tobu Dobutsu Koen bound Toru Toyoda and his driver Katsuya Takahashi were assigned to release sarin on the northeast bound Hibiya line. The pair with Takahashi driving, left Tom headquarters in Shibuya at 6.30 am. After purchasing a copy of Hochi Shimbun and wrapping his two sarin packets, Toyoda arrived at Nakamaguro Station where he boarded the first car of northeast-bound 759 Hibiya Line train number B711T. Sitting close to the door, he set the sarin packets on the floor. When the train arrived at the next station, Ebisu, Toyoda punctured both packets and got off the train. He was on the train for a total of two minutes, by far the quickest sarin drop out of the five attacks that day. Two stops later, at the Hongi station, passengers in the train's first car began to feel the effects of the sarin and began to open the windows. By Kamiecho station, the next stop, the passengers in the car had begun panicking. The first car was evacuated and several passengers were immediately taken to a hospital. Still, with the first car empty, the train continued down the line for one more stop until it was completely evacuated at Keisumagasiki Station. This attack killed one person and seriously injured 532 others. Nakameguro bound Yasuo Hayashi and Shigeo Sugimoto were the team assigned to drop sarin on the southwest bound Hibiya line departing Kita Sanju Station, for Nakameguro Station. Unlike the rest of the attackers, Hayashi carried three sarin packets onto the train instead of two. Prior to the attack, Hayashi asked to carry a flawed leftover packet in addition to the two others in an apparent bid to allay suspicions and prove his loyalty to the group. After Sugimoto escorted him to Wano Station, Hayashi boarded the third car of southwest bound 743 Habia Line train number A720S, and dropped his sarin packets to the floor. Two stops later, at Akihabara Station, he punctured two of the three packets, left the train, and arrived back at home headquarters with Sugimoto by 8.30 am. Hayashi made the most punctures of any of the perpetrators. By the next stop, Passengers in the third car began to feel effects from the sarin, noticing the large, liquid-soaked package on the floor, and assuming it was the culprit, one passenger kicked the sarin packets out of the train and onto Koden Macho Station's subway platform. Four people in the station died as a result. A puddle of sarin remained on the floor of the passenger car as the train continued to the next station. At 8.10 am, after the train pulled out of Hachobori Station, a passenger in the third car pressed the emergency stop button. The train was in a tunnel at the time, and was forced to proceed to Sakiji Station, where passengers stumbled out, and collapsed on the station's platform and the train was taken out of service. The attack was originally believed to be an explosion, and was thus labeled as such in media reports. Eventually, station attendants realized that the attack was not an explosion but rather a chemical attack. At 8.35 am, the Habia line was completely shut down and all commuters were evacuated. Between the five stations affected in this attack, eight people died and 275 were seriously injured. Aftermath On the day of the attack, ambulances transported 688 patients and nearly 5,000 people reached hospitals by other means. Hospitals saw 5,510 patients. 17 of whom were deemed critical, 37 severe and 984 moderately ill with vision problems. Most of those reporting to hospitals were the worried well, who were to be distinguished from those who were ill. By mid-afternoon, the mildly affected victims had recovered from vision problems and were released from hospital. Most of the remaining patients were well enough to go home the following day.
and within a week only a few critical patients remained in hospital. The death toll on the day of the attack was eight. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?